and yes I look rough so basically the pictures you've seen before um, was my story my hair journey um, I am a licensed hairstylist and um, I'm a certified makeup artist but very rarely I do makeup on people um, nine out of ten I'm usually just just doing my own makeup so um, just to go back in the licensed hairstylist part I um, I'm a colorist I love hair color I love creating trendy colors just personalizing hair color for people right now again I look rough I did a face mask and then I moisturized my skin because I honestly did a full um, co um, color correction on me and concealed um, and then highlights uh, I did a highlight and a contour on my entire so I was just like overly made up today for work but that's nor here or there anyway so um going back into the hair I since I have now went back natural I had pushed myself away from um, coloring my hair I have honestly been any and every color there is and I am actually going to post those pictures also to show the journey of my hair and then I'm going to post pictures um, showing the chop off I literally chopped all my hair off um, and I rocked a regular like a point five for months I stopped chopping my hair off because I went platinum like three different stages of platinum once time I first time I went platinum um, I think I was platinum for about five months and then I was like oh let's add color in my hair and that's what I did and then um, went through the color regin and then chopped it off low and then just continue just you know it was just, it was just a roller coaster so the last time I went platinum was I want to say December January of 16 and then I just started letting it grow out and then January February March of 16 is when I officially had no more color all of it because I started really going thin here and up here which is it's growing back honestly it looks funny but it's it's growing back it's a process um, and then from 15 I'm sorry from March of March the beginning of March of 2016 on to now um, I've been strictly natural no color no not even a, a temporal color or semi -perm no color um, I've been through this natural journey now for um, almost nine months yeah because this is January 14th now and I want to say like the first week of March is when I started so like 10 months this March will be a year going strictly natural so um, what I am going to do is I am going to every month I am going to um, add on to my video just to show my natural growth and then I'm going to um, by March I will post it and then we can start back March again and just continue on so every year is like an anniversary so um, and it's going to be cut so this is going to be the main video for this this year I should have did it at the beginning when I originally started going natural but it didn't dawn on me until just now so I'm just recapping my process I will have pictures linked when we go through the second anniversary which will be the first week of March up until next year of March that's going into the next anniversary we'll do a taping and um, a taping of my hair and then just back into what I did um, or what I'm going to do for that next year to continue growing my hair out I have a five-year goal so we're gonna go on this journey together um, for five years to see from starting to ending on how long my hair is so um, 
yeah, that's my journey. Um, I don't really have much now. What I am going to do, honestly, is um, show you what I do. So, as you can see right now, and excuse me, I'm actually sitting in my bed. Um, so, every night, I, um, I use a water bottle, um, which is this one here. Oops, sorry, it's a little, little slippery. My hands are a little oily. So this is the water bottle that I spray my hair. I missed it really well. Um, right now I did like a little twisty hair. It's like a little, like a little um, pushback because my hair I usually have it going in my face. Um, or just something wild. So I just got this going back and I'm twisting it down and then I loop it. Every night I twist my hair up. I, every night, it rather it's a different style or whatever. I do something to my hair. One, because I have polyester, um, bed sheets and pillowcases and so forth. And you honestly don't want anything besides like silk and satin on your hair. Um, because your hair can glide and it's not going to consume the oils. It'll stay in your hair. It won't dry it out or anything. So I do have a silk scarf right here beside me. So back to that. So yeah, I use this and I mist it enough to where it's not drenching. But it's wet enough for me to like break through my hair. I don't go and comb it. Um, and that's just my own thing. As a naturalist, you don't want to comb your hair dry. You will break it off. And if you don't break it off and you need a haircut, you just basically needed another haircut because now you have damage ends. Um, and then yes, I use my go-to Blue Magic. My um, mom from a child has used this in my hair and then, you know, my godmother and everything. So you can get any kind of Blue Magic. The kind I have is the hair and scalp condi conditioner um, and it's an anti- anti-breakage formula again this is it right here and if you can't really see it I will put all the details in the bottom of what I use for my hair um, everybody's hair is totally different this is just what's helping my hair grow in the process that I've been taking someone else hair might just be a little bit different than mine and can't use the same you just need to find what product is best for your hair but as a naturalist I do want to say you do want to use some oil base. I use a lot. I live now in Arizona. I was back east coast where it was humidity and it was, you know, you can get the moisture in your hair. Now living in Arizona, it dries my hair. So I don't mind adding oil or grease in my hair. And onto the oil, <laughs> back to that. So um, this is a Pravana product, Nevo. It's a um, hydrant pearl. Um... It replenishes hair oil, which I absolutely love. Um, it's it's about quarter fill now. I've been using the shit out of this, like seriously. Um, I put four to six drops in my hair while it's still wet, and I just rub it all through, um, us along with my Blue Magic. And then I use um, Wella, and it's a um, it's Enrich. And it's a moisturizing leave-in balm. Um, you can, again, you can use any kind of leave-in conditioner that works for your hair. I honestly, because when I was in school, cosmetology school, one of the um, product lines that we worked on was Wella. And I, I love it. So that's why I use this as my leave-in balm. And then once I twist my hair all up, before I tie it down, I just went to Optima um, Care. And it's like a burgundy bottle. It's a sheen. And I again, I love oil. I, I don't mind putting oil in my hair. I like my hair oil. It, because it um, my hair needs oil. So I add it in there. And it's, I just sheen it. Um, sheen my entire hair. Once I um, finish twisting it. And then I'll tie it down. So I'm going to get back and I'm going to do the the measuring of my hair I'm a twist I'm a remain I'm a twist all of these that's left I, I'm a, I make these twisties really tiny not too tiny but not fat because I want a full hair of, of curls and that's my cheating way of getting natural curls I don't put no heat in my hair 
Um, I don't add no curling oils or anything. I do it the natural way. And it's a longer process because I'll go overnight. Um, and then, I mean, honestly, some naturalists, they might twist their hair up. And then they might sit on a blow dry. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I don't use no heat on my hair. I sit here in the night before. Um, and I just do this every night. It is a process, but this process here helps me um, with my growth. Again, I, I believe it works for me. Maybe you can, you know, take some things here and there and utilize. And then you can do other things to make it your own to help your hair. So be right back and then we'll do the, um, we will go, then we'll do the, um, take the measuring of my hair length right now. And then I will go through how I wash my hair. Hi. Okay. So I am back. And we're going to do a um, taping of my hair. So if you can see it, it's about right here. Let's see. Let's get it down. About right here. So I'm going to go like that. Right where that dot is right there. And from here to here. So my hair, let's pull it out, is, oops, sorry, my hair is right here on up. So I did a measurement on this. This is my hair taping, a five-year plan. So my hair, my daughter said, because I have one hand, I didn't, have, I didn't feel like going to get my stand. So my hair right now. So now it's all clamped up. Let's make sure they are not going to poke me at night. Oh, I feel like I got a piece of hair in my eye. And I'm going to take this. It's about to get a little, um, not foggy, but just a little misty. So please excuse me. And I go all in my hair, to be honest. And then this is my... This here is my silk scarf. You can use any silk scarf. I don't even remember where I got this from or if it was given to me. Probably given to me as like a um, neck scarf or something. I am not wearing no damn. Look, look. does this look like a neck scarf to you? Like seriously. Even if it was given to me, I don't, I don't wear stuff like that. But anyway, let me tie it up and get back to you. And then I'm going to tell you what I do for my washing and conditioning treatment. Okay. So, my hair is tied down. So, in measuring that tape part that I showed you, my hair is at 7 inches long um, at this moment. So, we will see, fingers crossed, I can get to 10 inches by the March. We will see. I um, Sometimes I braid my hair. I'm so sorry to be all in my eye. Um, when I was going through my hair with the mister and my fingers, you know, hair sheds. It's dead hair. It sheds. I might have gotten something in it. But anyway. So yeah. Um prayfully I'm gonna to hope I get to ten inches by March. I'm doing a big stretch. That's just three inches, but I'm hoping. So yeah. So going into my um how I wash my hair and it might sound nasty, but I don't care. So, <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I thoroughly protein wash my hair once a month. And I'm going to say what I use, and then I'm going to also put in the description box below what I do. So, I use, um, when I, any length of hair, well now my hair is getting longer. When I 